So now we're recording? Yeah. All right. We're recording at my friend's house. His name's Landon. First name Charles, but he goes by his middle name. His son has big opinions on where you should hide during flash floods and tornadoes. (laughs) Get in the tub. Come on, Jack. That's where you go. Yeah, I know. Oh. You were telling him to go in the basement during a flood. Yeah, because I wanted to get one rid of him. One less kid. Yeah, one less child. You would get. You think you would get the snacks? I know. I could have the snacks right now, if even he, if he was alive. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. You <laughs> don't have to kill him, but you want to. I didn't have to kill him off, but here we are. This is mine. Yeah. Yours is far away. This episode brought to you by Topo Chico and Topo Chico Lime. We can't do fake ads because we're going to start doing real ads next week. This isn't fake. I love Topo Chico. You know what? You know what I love? <laughs> Farting on my friend's stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I went to high school with that guy. He's one of my oldest friends. Oh, we, we should start. We should fire it up. What? We should do the pod. I thought we were. Oh, okay. Here we go. That reeks. What? That Ye- reeks. Okay. <laughs> Leave it in. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stay here anymore. Yeah, because you ate all the boys' snacks. I had one bag of Pop Tarts bites. You this had episode one box of brought Pop-Tarts to you by Pop Tarts bites. Yeah. Pop them in. <laughs> Just because Becker can't be here doesn't mean someone can't be a piggish glutton in a stranger's home. I had one bag. And what did I have? You had. I what? had an Easter egg. An Easter egg. You made a mess. You, I know. I threw you it away. It up. I did too. You sneezed, and the eggshell went everywhere. Yeah, into your mouth. You love the show. <laughs> it's good for your coat. Hey, everybody! Look at us. It's the men whose breasts are visible. Will we or won't we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is Lund's classic setup where he says, I got it all figured out. And then that means that we're in a room that's 120 degrees. Shut up. And uh, You had a sweatshirt on. It's nice in here. It's not nice in here. There's, it, there's it something going like, on with the house. It smells terrible in here. It's haunted by somebody who is always chilly. And <laughs> yeah. so it's like set at 82. Uh-huh. And Landon will, when Landon had his house... Uh, in Henderson, out of college, we kept it. He kept it at like sixty. It was freezing. All of our lady friends hated being in there, and we yeah. were like, "Fine, go. We're gonna play Madden and get stoned, and probably wrestle." <laughs> but I know why he had it turned low when the ladies came over. <laughs> yeah, it's a dog party. <laughs> Quit looking into the camera when I'm you're looking riff. at myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a Lund guy. Yeah. Guess what? That's a dying breed now that you did Joe Rogan. <laughs> yes, era, I know. The era of Lund guys has come to an end. <laughs> All the Dr. Drew heads are going to be following uh-huh. on, on the, the, the wave of the Rogan experience heads. <laughs> the low tier is Lund guys because you have low T. And that's the lowest tier. And the Becker backers are right here because a bunch of people who are white but wish they were black. And then Sam T Nation worldwide into interstellar space now. Yeah. So I need you guys to know your place because I'm the only <laughs> brave man in America. Nicely done. Uh, I ca- I made I made you proud, even though you didn't listen to it. Of course, just like you didn't read my book. I read your book. It yeah. was fine. How many years later did you read it? I thought you needed me to give you feedback, and you're like, "No, I don't need anything from you." And I was like, "All right, well then, I'll take my time." You and thought it was a feed bag. You would have eaten it. I had to do other stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had to watch Always Sunny for the twelfth time. Uh-huh. Yeah, you had to beat Assassin's Creed. You better not. There's a smoke detector right above I'm you. I'm friends with Joe. <laughs> There's no reason. Did I'm, you have a cigar with him? Uh-huh. Did you cough? No, but it didn't stay lit. I had to relight it nine times. Mm. It was a Joe Rogan branded cigar with his face on the band. <laughs> yeah. Joe Rogan cigar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know about it. Yeah. They made Jamie bite it off with his teeth. That's how he clipped it. I used to like the guy that would go on there and talk about his experiences with UFOs. And not the main guy, the other guy. Art Bell. No. Was there a third guy? He was very, like, square and was, like, flying jets in the Navy. So he'd be on an aircraft carrier in the middle oh, of nowhere. Yeah, and he would sing that song. I don't think he sang, in man. The he Navy. was <laughs> No, no. He was not. He had, I'm like, not banging dudes he had in a, the Navy. He had hardly any charisma. Mm-hmm. He was very square. But I'm it the made me. On there. Yeah, I know. You're all charisma and fucking. Round as hell. Cult of personality. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were smoking a square. Uh, but I liked th- the fact that he was square and didn't seem crazy at all. Made me think that UFOs are real. That they're out there. And they this was real. years ago. I'd watch those clips. How many years ago? I don't know. Probably Six years 10, ago? 20 years ago? No, no, no. Yeah. 
but when no, he was still on Angel Fire. Here's the thing: we talked about UFOs in 2023. Yeah, Rogan talks about four things. Yeah, and we covered all the bases. Yeah, we talked about hornets. We talked about UFC. We talked about trans people. Are they gross? Are they not? <laughs> <laughs> and we talked about comedy and how there's only a thousand comedians and how I'm in the top ten of them all. He said that. He said that off mic. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jamie went. <laughs> <laughs> he was going off of that uh, that list that Matt Broussard made. Who do, who used to make that list that oh, was yeah. made up? Uh, Zach Broussard. That sounds right. Yeah, you were never on there. No, I no, I didn't tweet enough. I was on there all the time. Yeah, but it was also made up. You, Not to me. <laughs> it's still real to me. Damn it! You, you took it as power rankings. It was in my bio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I did Rogan. And uh, I stood up for uh, for the malign, the we marginalized. Keep, I keep shaking the desk. Yeah. I don't know. He told Lennon told me not to lean on it, and then I immediately am like getting cozy. Yeah, we're both at a standing desk right now, in an unnamed neighborhood in Central Park, Colorado. I'm gonna stand at attention. Yeah, me too. What's the right way? I think that's right. I think your hands go. They point at your eyebrow ring, Whatever where your you eyebrow do. ring was before you enlisted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> before you had to get rid of anything that was you. Yeah, you're actually standing like this because you're covering up that little stripe you put in your eyebrow when you went to the Dominican barber <laughs> before you shipped out. Yeah, at the yeah. quinceanera. Uh-huh. Free phase. Yeah, yeah, your wife's quinceanera. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh-oh. Sweet spot. Oh, no. What That's are we, a cradle. Teeter totter. <laughs> it's a cradle that you're rocking. Yeah, that you that the child thirty one year old grandmother's rocking while you're away. Uh, here we go. You also did Doctor Drew Pinsky's. So podcast. we're gonna just move on from Rogan. Let's talk about Rogan for an hour. This is a three hour pod. So yeah, we got time. Yeah, I mean, what hey, else do you want to say about hey, Rogan? When you do Rogan, I will not stop you from talking about it as long as you'd like. Proceed. I'm, I'm more just, of a love line guy. <laughs> so am I. Honestly. I'm more of a Corolla head than a Rogan guy. Well, guess boy. who's doing Corolla in July? Yeesh. What do you mean, yeesh? He sucks. You're like, I love Corolla. He's the greatest. No, I said Dude, I loved Love Line when I was 17. Because Corolla he was rules. very funny. Yeah. And it was also cool to hear him and Dr. Drew. I was like, if you were 17, I was nine. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I was like 13 or 14 listening to that, and they'd be like, okay, we have a caller. Her name is Sharice. She's calling in from Rio Dondo, California, and she says she can't. Quit giving head. She, yeah, she said her boobs are too big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I'd be at work just being like, "Fuck yeah!" Yeah, I'd be like, "Hey, uh, what's her exact address?" <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Drew, hook up a little homey. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it, it was great. Corolla was funny. Now he's old and dumb. He doesn't know what he's talking about. So tell him I said, "Hey." I won't. I will not say Lund says hi. Lund says... What if Corolla's like, gross. I'm more of a Lund guy anyway. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, be, yeah, you'd be like, you are the best. I love you. He can Venmo me whenever he wants. Um, Rogan did not pay me to be on his show. Is that free? Yeah. Well, there's <laughs> yeah. some perks. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're getting called all kinds of things. A by... bunch of people with Punisher Abbeys. Yeah, a or... bunch, of, bunch of basement dwellers. Uh-huh. There's no flood, but they're in the basement. <laughs> yes, we have the numbers on that. $26 million alleged by young Jamie. Mm-hmm. That's you falling off of a cliff. Dude, I've just been like spinning through space for the last 24 hours. Well, how many people listen to Dr. Drew? Oh, we can't talk about it till hour three. <laughs> We're not doing but three But it's got to be big. We're it's doing 59.59 on here, all right? <laughs> I don't want to talk to you for a minute longer than I have to. Tell We're hanging about- out all night. <laughs> well, no, we are. We should have been hanging out for a half hour longer. But- no, come on. I, <laughs> no, I forgot dude. about it. Dipshit. Talk about Rogan. <laughs> no, not about no, me No, no, let's talk idiot. about your slights. That's When you left your friend, who literally needed Dang a friend right. after being in the abyss for the last 48 hours. <laughs> the going- abyss of popularity and stardom? Yeah, and worldwide love. <laughs> <not> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody's sucking your dick. You yeah. need me to be like, mmm, it smells good, Danny. <laughs> I like everybody's saliva. You're like, pee-pee. you're like the only person I want to talk to right now face to face. Besides my wife. I want to talk to her ass to face. <laughs> Dude, that picture. <laughs> hey, chill. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What do you mean? What? What? I didn't do anything. Shut up. <laughs> Lund, so Lun blew it and did not pick me up from the airport on time. Listen. I told him I landed at 3, and then I texted him at 3.04 and said, waiting for my bag. And where were you? No. This is what happened. Okay, please. Excuse your actions. You said... Well, no, no. I blew it. But you said you got in at 3. I... Went and saw our friend Janae Burris. Yeah. 
and we were hanging out and I was right by the 70. So I thought, all right, it'll take me 20 minutes to get there. He'll tell me when he lands. I'll have that time while you land, get off the plane, go get your bag. So to, just to being there, there at three when I said I was going to be out of the plane. Well, yeah, I didn't want to have to jack it outside of the airport. For oh, you didn't want to look minutes. at your phone and chew your nails near an airport? It's your favorite thing to do. I like to pick them now more than chew them. Oh, yeah. Why? Because of the COVID? Because of COVID, yeah. It mm-hmm. kind of helped me kick the habit. I doubled down. Chewed After more. Rogan, that's what I learned. If you have an unpopular opinion, just <laughs> dig deeper. You, shar- you sharpen your nails into spikes. Yeah. So you can fight for toilet paper and water at uh-huh. Costco. Uh, so, yeah, I was at Janae's. I knew I needed to leave, but we were having a nice chat. And then when you said waiting for my bags, I was like, no. I was hoping I would get a text when you landed. Not saying that you should have done that. Good, because I shouldn't have. I was in the wrong. <laughs> I leave, and then there's awful traffic because New Denver. Making it, up excuses, nice. Well, no, that made it worse. And uh, I was so, like, in a hurry, distracted, like, you know, knowing that I'm blowing it. You were thinking I, of cool things you wanted to say to I me. blew it again. <laughs> <laughs> like, what yeah, am I going to say when I see him? More like Bro Jogan. So... <laughs> I miss the turn to go to the arrivals and pick up and departures uh, section where you were and had to do a fucking lap. So that was an extra seven minutes. Yeah. I was And where was furious. I? I was alone and lost and afraid. I was you like, had a bunch of people saying, hey, did I hear you on Joe Rogan and Dr. Drew? And you were like, hell yeah, brother. Bro, and then you were signing autographs and pushing people away with a stick. Bro, I got recognized a bunch at the Austin airport. Damn. Yeah, and no one was from the shows. Me. No, from Rogan. From, the, from Rogan. From the biggest platform in the world that's filmed ten minutes away. I know, but it, it it hadn't been out that long. Doesn't matter when you were at the airport. Yeah, people were like, "Hey, you were on Rogan." I was like, "Yeah," and they're like, "You think trans women are hot?" And I was like, I, "Some of them are." That's the only thing that I said <laughs> that I disagree with, that I regret, is saying that, that Dylan was hot because I looked into it and she looks like Quagmire. All right, so I'm sorry. Quagmire's hot. No, Quagmire's not hot. Quagmire's horny, and that's why you think that he's hot, because he's getting laid all the time. He's a pilot. That's pretty good money. It is, yeah. Big job. Six figures. Yeah, so look, Dylan, I wish you well, and there are plenty of trans women that I would let slurp my gork. All right? (laughs) Have you seen the trans technology? They got heavy hangers now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've told you. Yeah, I know. You love it. You whack it to all all the time. There's some pretty cool... uh, Pornhub clips that you can get into. Yeah, and then make you, it seem like an accident. You tricked, yeah. <laughs> no, not uh-huh. tricked. Yeah. That's another goddamn trope. <laughs> Nobody's tricking me. I know what I'm doing. I told you, what's better? If you want uh to watch two people having sex, do you want a dude in there? Not really. But you need a dick, right? So what if the one of the ladies has a dick? Whoa. Damn. Pretty cool. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy hangers. Uh-huh. You got four of them. Yeah. Makeup, they probably smell nice. Mm-hmm. 100% of the people in the scene. Yeah. But also, where's the dick? Oh, it's right there. There's a, a little glitter on it. <laughs> Sick. A lady with a dick, finally a girl you can trust. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can throw a baseball. Uh-huh. Yeah. When you're done getting plowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When, when she's done coring you out. Yeah. Yeah. Get in my hole. Uh. So, yeah. Nicely done. Also, I, yeah, you made it sound like everybody was gorgeous and then you got attacked, but it's hard to nail everything with a bunch of nuance and get into it when I saw one picture on of pod. Dylan and I was like, well, nothing wrong there. Kind of like a Audrey Hepburn thing going on. A little That's what I've seen in several pictures where and, she's very pretty. And then I saw a video where her giant quagmire chin was barely shaven. And Oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? I'm not allowed to have things I'm into and not into? You don't have to. Be, but you, you can't say, I didn't like these pictures of her. Therefore, she's butt ugly. That's not true either. I didn't. You're the one projecting. Get some nuance in there. No. Why don't you shave? You look like shit. I look cool, man. I wouldn't even let you slurp my gorp. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, guess you, what? Either shave, get rid of those chops. I'm I, sick of the chops. I'd be like, "Hey, Lund, uh, I have a. I'm gonna slurp your gorp at three. And you'd be like, "Okay, tell me when your mouth <laughs> I'll be is there open." Three thirty-two. <laughs> yeah, furious with myself. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna be mad because you, when I told you oh, traffic sucks, it's gonna be another fifteen, and you went, "Oh, good." I was like, "Oh no." Yeah, he's fuming. But well, you know what? I knew you were pissed, and I'm not gonna fucking put any goddamn kerosene on the fire that is Lund. You knew I was I was beating yeah. myself up. I do yeah, love to sucked. make you matter. That is a fun pastime for me. But in this instance where I just need someone to hold me and wrap me in like a 
Yeah, storm slurp, blanket. Slurp your gorp. Yeah, no <laughs> one slurped my gorp. Instead, I got you wearing Crocs, bragging about free swim trunks you got. Free Crocs, too. Yeah. Thanks to Lighthouse Ranch. This episode brought to you by the new Thousand Island from Lighthouse. Dude, why isn't Lighthouse giving us money? They give me money for the commercials. Why don't they sponsor our pod? I don't know if I want them to hear the pod. I don't care if they listen. I'll talk about the many merits of Lighthouse Ranch. <laughs> you can dip anything in there. Spiders. Your gorp. Trans cock. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Take the edge off. <laughs> <laughs> so here's how Rogan works, if you'd like to hear it. Sure, yeah. I think they would like to hear it. I'm you sure to, you don't give a shit. You had to run, jog, at dawn with him yeah. for four miles. Uh-huh. <laughs> I had to do the presidential <laughs> fitness ass? test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give me one shin up, talent. Give me one. Like, Joe, I can't. He put you in the, the cold bath with him? I wanted to do that. You didn't do it? I did not. Does he, he do was, it at three in the morning, probably? Yeah. He His schedule it. must be insane. Yeah. He, so he wakes up. He bangs his old lady. He eats an Elkhart raw. He hops in the ice bath. Whoa. Yeah. He shoots an arrow directly into the air, and then he waits for it to come back down, and he catches it with his bare hand. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Um, he records eight podcasts, and then he goes and does stand-up comedy at his comedy club, which is the best. It's the fucking greatest. I'm That's sincere nice. in that. I know everyone thinks that I'm just a liar and I say whatever I need you to chase clout, but whatever gets your gorp slorp. Quit saying slorp gorp. <laughs> it's <laughs> I'm not hitting it. as hard as I'm you think it. I'm taking it. it. <laughs> no, people love it. So I do South by Southwest. All right. Oh, we're going back. Well, they want to know origin story. They want to know. <laughs> I've been keeping this secret for so, so long. So he was born in 1996. Joe Rogan. You. No. I Premature. Born, I was born in 2001. <laughs> you were the original space odyssey <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's a good joke <laughs> thank you yeah see on this podcast when someone says something funny we laugh at it we don't just start oh, you talking no about soul? ancient aliens you were getting no soul <laughs> <laughs> yeah hard that dude that sucks he was big league in you it's okay he so i he i he said hey we should do the podcast i'm leaving the mothership i say you got it joey gets my phone number i text him that sunday i say hey Love to do the pod, take you up on it. He says, can you be here April 11th? I said, can I? So next thing I know, I got a first class, t- first class ticket booked to old Austin. Cancel my trip to old Paris, which is on fire. And I yeah, would have liked to see it burn. It would have been cool to be over there, I think. Yeah, I know. A little you know scary, cooler? but it would have mostly been sick, yeah. You know what's cooler? 26 million, baby. 26 million. Plus Dr. Drew, which we're not allowed to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it under wraps. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the good doctor. So I go out there. Uh, I do something on Monday that I'm not allowed to talk about yet. And then what? Tuesday, I... Oh, the combine. Yeah, I did the combine. <laughs> yeah, I actually pulled the combine like a man ox as Joe Rogan whipped me with a whip made of human skin. <laughs> like the judge. And then Tuesday, I wake up. I don't get all tanked on Monday. I have six or seven Miller Lights. Take it easy, you know? Oof. Adam Egitt's there. He's sitting on my lap. I'm bouncing him. You know, <laughs> he's, he's pretty like, tall, right? Not your height. Is he up there with you? Mm, maybe a little no. taller than you. You're what? Five six? Mm, five eight? In Crocs? Look at this. Five seven? <laughs> this is what peak performance looks like, everybody. Yeah, look at that. Hey, look at that. Don't chop the man. Look at that. I'm wearing my own shirt. This is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm getting it out there for a dog party. Dog party. They're a band from Sacramento. But <laughs> well, you already knew that because <laughs> you listen to the pod. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? God, who are you? I'm everywhere. You're Sugar, you're Sugarfoot Leonard. Oh, I'm Chuck Wiles. I had a laryngectomy, me, goddammit. Mara, I love you. <laughs> Sam was on Rogan. <laughs> I got a reason to live. <laughs> I don't listen to Rogan, but I listen to Dr. Drew. It depends on the guest. <laughs> I'm with Lund. I like that one guy from the Navy. So I go into Rogan. At, I'm there at one. I'm sitting there with his five, you know, <laughs> capable killers who protect him at all times. Nice guys. Um, from Hezbollah? No, not from Hezbollah. <laughs> Al- excuse Isn't me. Isn't that the Al-Qaeda. little guy? <laughs> No, that's Hasbula. Oh, yeah. It'd be funny if you had five Hasbulas in there. <laughs> that would be sick. That would rule. They make him look like he's huge. Right, yeah. And protect him. Uh-huh. <laughs> and and they provide like a-, a couple of laughs. laughs. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. It's really funny to think of Joe Rogan getting attacked at his club and then just five has bullets fucking hop on <laughs> yeah. the assailant. Yeah. <laughs> just kill him. <laughs> what yeah. other like piranha. Inshallah. Just eat him. <laughs> yeah. He's a heavy muzz. Yeah. What? He's like Syrian or something. No, he's from he's from like Azerbaijan or Kakistan. I think or we've had this exact Ush conversation. Magindian. No, you probably had it on about your, your, your fucking forums you hang out on. I think you said that. This is deja vu. Yeah, I'm deja vu. Doctor Drew on your chest took a poo on you. He did not poop on me. I go in there. We sit down. Hey, do you like cigars, Sam Talent? Yes, I do, Joe Rogan. He Fire lied. <laughs> yes, I do. He lied. I'll have a cigar when. When I'm with an alpha, when a when some when, yeah, when, when a bigger tougher more boy. famous than you yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> asked if you like it, like, <laughs> oh yeah, God, I have a subscription to Smokers Cough Magazine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they send a cigar every two weeks. <laughs> I was actually on the cover of Cigar Aficionado Kids <laughs> <laughs> as a boy. I love when Daddy busts out the big ones. <laughs> Give me the clippers. <laughs> the basement smells good. Does your child still have baby teeth? <laughs> An at-home cigar cutter. <laughs> Then we sit down, we start talking. 20 minutes in, what's he say? You know about wasps or something? You know about bees? I say, do you know about the Datura bees that make the psychogenic honey? He says, I've got some of that. I can't do a Rogan, so I'm just going to do putty. <laughs> Feels like an Arby's night. I'd listen. Whoa, that's pretty good. It's not bad. Solid Warburton. Elaine. <laughs> I'm the dick. <laughs> Just I've been, all of his stuff. I've been doing this since I was 13. <laughs> I do a pretty good buddy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not bad. You also, that's my move. <laughs> Damn. That's the move. More of this, please. You got it. Hey, Jerry. I like the devils. <laughs> We're broken up. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> you didn't know about this? Killing it. No. I we're, feel like any we're, time, we're, maybe you've done it once and you're like, I'm the dick. And I was like, yeah, of course, you say your own name. A buddy. And then we moved on. <laughs> no. Olay, George, we're broken up. Whoa. Yeah. He broke up with George that one time. He did, yeah. <laughs> they were in that triad, that, that polycule. Can't uh-huh. believe they showed them fucking. I can because I was in the writer's room. <laughs> I was like, this is what people want. Look, I'm 11. You're nine. <laughs> yeah. Nine inches soft. So... <laughs> All right, so you get blindfolded. You're brought to an undisclosed location. Yeah, in the Nevada desert. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's where Stone Cold is. Yeah, <laughs> His ranch. Uh-huh. We gotta. You gotta oh, yeah. Stone Cold, dude. Dude, do you think he'll have me? I mean, come on. He's a Drew guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the that's the the fucking hey buddy pipeline. <laughs> what, what about Stone Podcast Cold and Putty talking? <laughs> oh, Putty, my guest. <laughs> my guest is here. No. You might have known him from the Tick. You might have known him from Seinfeld. It's Patrick Warburton. We're going to call him Buddy. It's great to be here, Steve. Now, I know you the don't beautiful, beautiful studio you got here. <laughs> well, yeah, thanks for being blindfolded and coming out here. Well, when Rogan asked me to do his podcast, I said, sure. This then sucks. Then wake up here I'm where not, you are. <laughs> this sucks because you're doing good. I'm, I'm really good at flailing. it. Flailing. That's right. This is the podcast in general. I'm drowning. <laughs> I can't do it. I got to do Chuck. I got to do Chuck Wiles. What about Terry Funk? I don't know. Cactus, you dirty dog. <laughs> I gotta do. Okay, Nick enough Foley of this. Terry Funk. <laughs> enough of this. Terry Funk talks out of one side of his mouth. Cactus, you dirty dog. <laughs> you low down scum, cactus. So yeah, you're smoking a cigar dipped in formaldehyde. He gives me the fucking psychogenic honey. And I know that this honey is a central nervous system suppressant. All right. I know that if you eat it too much. Also, I talked to the wonton Don that day because he was eating this honey in Nepal. And I was like, Hey, dude, are you eating that honey? And he said, yeah, I ate one and a half. This is this is insane kismet. Wonton Don hits me up like an hour before the pod, and he's like, yeah, I have uh, I had one and a half tablespoons of this honey, and I threw up for four hours. Me. So then the honey comes out, and he's like, eat it, you bitch. You know? Rogan's like, hey, why don't you eat it? <laughs> Eating it would be good. Yeah. We're going to eat it. And I was like, all right, Joe. So we fucking take He takes a big-ass spoonful. I dip it and rip it. You pinch fibbed. No, no, I didn't. I dipped it in. I completely coated the spoon and then ate it. With the thinnest layer you could. No, no. I mean. You were playing chess. I'm 320 pounds. Okay, but you were worried. I'm much so more of a risk a, than him cardiovascularly. Sorry. Took, took a little dip. Sorry I didn't do it for the gram like you live, you I'm fucking saying, round wad. I'm not saying it was a bad thing to You're pinch saying fib. the worst thing to me. Just pinch. <laughs> I've been called. Uh, I've been called. <laughs> a lot of stuff in the last 24 <laughs> yeah. hours. Oh, yeah. Woo. Woo. How many G's are in that slur? <laughs> Too many. You were saying in the car. 
No. You said all of them in the car. Allegedly. Uh huh. You said one and I said another one. You said the worst one. <laughs> no. Yes, dude. Yeah. You said the Holocaust didn't happen. Yeah, because I was agreeing with you. That was two peas and happen. And they're both for pussy, which you've been getting called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I oh, wish it was on. just pussy. So I eat that honey and then I got to hang out there and the honey starts kicking in 20 or 30 minutes in. And then I ask for a Bud Light. I actually asked for a beer. Yeah. And Rogan says, I got a couple Bud Lights. <laughs> hey, Jamie, go grab the gold ones. He brings out four Bud Lights. We crack them. We slurp them. We dump them. I say there is no woke agenda. Strike one. <laughs> <laughs> I say that people should be able to allow to live free or, or die. You God know? forbid. Strike two. Everyone should feel safe in their identities. You're out of here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the internet's spoken. I'm going to find you're you. You're gay. <laughs> I'm going to send you a bomb in a box. <laughs> yeah. Hey, turns out you're gay. <laughs> That's Buddy talking to Kramer. Hey, Kramer, I talked to your mom. Turns out you're gay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so, so I yeah, have to sit how there. How high did you get? One to ten. Dude. Like, how altered were you? Let me explain this to you. Please. There was an underlying euphoria in giggliness. But this is exacerbated by the fact that I'm sitting across a desk made of a redwood carved by some kind of Swedish Viking man. There's a bunch of Dia de los Muertos human skulls painted in festive colors on the table. I'm staring at Joe Rogan in front of a sign that says Joe Rogan. From news radio. Yes, while wearing fucking headphones. And I can see Joe Rogan talking, but I hear him. And this is where the honey came in. I hear him with like a fraction of an exchange between his lips and what I hear. Like I'm perceptive right, of that. Right. So this is so surreal, dude. You're not talking to a person. You are talking to the Eiffel Tower. You're talking to Mount Rushmore, Statue of Liberty. You're mm-hmm. talking to an idea, and you can't kill an idea. A national park. You can't kill an idea. <laughs> you can't kill me, Rogan. <laughs> so we're in there for like three and a half hours, and then at the end, you know, I keep trying to bring it back to my book, make a little money. I'm like, I wrote a book, and he's like, "Did you know that uh, women can give birth?" <laughs> you know, he's really getting to the bottom of it. <laughs> you ever get rocked? <laughs> yeah, I told a fun story about. Has uh, fear ever been a factor for you? <laughs> yeah. You ever eat a bunch of bull penis? He's just the guy, <laughs> the pilot from Airplane. <laughs> yeah. You ever been on a fake radio show with Andy Dick? You ever been kicked in the armpit? <laughs> <laughs> he kicks you in the armpit. Ow, Joe. Jeez, I how guess I have. What are you, doll sim? <laughs> yeah, how'd you get me from there, mm-hmm. Saget? <laughs> Sagat? I was getting called something that rhymes with that <laughs> online today. They, they hope that you die like Bob Saget. Yeah, that's right. Alone in a hotel room. Bumped to death. Your biggest fear. Yeah, well, that's why you come with me. That's what we share a room. <laughs> you think it's because I like to fall asleep next to you. No, nope. I want someone there for my life alert goes off. <laughs> so, we do the pod. We're talking about it all. What aren't we talking about? We covered everything. Then I go to leave, and I go outside, and Joe's still in there, you know, doing God knows what. And I come out, and all of his security guys are very happy, and they give me a round of applause, and they say, wow, Joe usually doesn't have a first-time guest in there over three hours. Usually it's two or two and a half hours, so way to go. So I felt very good about myself. Yeah. And then I left, and I went out, and I had a little bite to eat. I said, yum, yum. What'd you eat? Me and Adam Egan had tacos. Okay. Yes. Too late for breakfast tacos, or what? I don't like breakfast tacos. Okay. They're so stupid. Mm, I think that they can be done really well. They're and always they can soggy. Be... They're always soggy. Well, I'm saying... The egg's always wet. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've had some good ones. I can't, couldn't tell you where. You're not a barometer for what tastes good and what doesn't. You don't know. I do. I've hung out with you. I've seen what you eat, and you're like, "Oh my God, Hardee's has a waffle sandwich!" <laughs> Finally, the I've revolution been, has come to America. I've been watching basketball, and they keep showing me ads for the King's Hawaiian sandwiches at Arby's, and I was like, "Hmm, I know where we're going after this." No, we gotta eat something real good. What are we for the eat? show? I don't know. Let's get let's get some fucking Lebanese food. Something downtown. Wapapadi. We're not going to have a ton of time. Oh, let's get noodles. Can we get noodles, please? Whatever you want, baby. Thank you. <laughs> I got to I gotta start slurping your gorp so that you don't forget about me. <laughs> oh, you're out. You're not, you're not going to need most people. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have a small crew uh-huh. and everybody else uh, is going to get the new phone who dis. Yes, men. And yes, they thems. <laughs> <laughs> no women. No women. They're annoying. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> you, can be, you can be non-binary, but if you have them, you're on board. <laughs> what if I surrounded myself with big titty non-binary people? That'd be pretty cool. Whoa, that would be like the dream. <laughs> I'm married to one. <laughs> Allegedly. Emmy's been hiding her dick. 
Did that joke Where? on stage? Behind your balls. On stage? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <boy. laughs> People love it. That's why you want, like the mothership. I love the they mothership, dude. Your... You can do any joke you want there. No yeah, one's mad balls. at you. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool when a crowd doesn't jump to assumptions about your leanings because you try and tell a joke. It's cool when they laugh at everything and slurp your gorp, even if you're full of rage. No, no. It's just cool when comics like can perform in front of open-minded crowds who aren't worried about yeah, virtue op- signaling. Yeah, open-minded who are threatening you and Joe with death. They're not because... threatening me. They're at the shows. They bought tickets, brother. I sold out two shows at the Comedy Mothership. Mm, I heard they papered it. <laughs> Yeah, and copies of Mind Comp. <laughs> Joe is out front barking. Uh, hey, Later come on, on, get in here. Arr, arr, arr. Yeah, he's biting. Adam Egan has him on a leash. Yeah, he's biting people. Yeah. Rich Boss, he, he eats Rich Boss's hat. You got to do the open palm, or else he's gonna get you. He gets dog fucking spaz in that taco place. Huh? Anytime someone walked by the window, he brought his dog oh. named Dice. Anytime anyone walked by the window, Dice would be like, <laughs> and he gets like, <laughs> you don't usually do that. You don't mm. really do that very much. Yeah. Egan sounds like putty Egan's too. <laughs> Everybody's putty. Yeah. That's how in your hands. Yeah. <laughs> you're a god now. <laughs> no. No, you're just some asshole. Yeah, I'm just your best friend. Allegedly. Yeah, I'm just your fucking meal ticket. That's how you see me. I told you I was gonna coattail your ass. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Why couldn't you be the one you're who was sending it? No, you knew. I did not know. You had a you knew you I had worked a plan. harder than everyone else, that's all. Everyone else was lazy and bad. Right. Yeah. And I was lazy and good. You were lazy and good. So you kept me around. I did. My plan worked. In case I I need a body double. (laughs) I told you. I was like, I'm just going to have you do all the (laughs) shit shows Uh and then bring me (laughs) when it's time. No, I did some of those shit shows for sure. You did. But man, yeah, you were always gone. Anyway, so that night I do shows at the mothership. It's very fun. You're always gone. I do fun. I had to learn how to ride a bike by myself. Yeah, and you forgot pretty quick. You were in Iowa. Dude, you want a bike? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I could I could do it. No, you couldn't, dude. I could. Come no on. way. I ride a bike and I can barely do it. I've been on one. God, it's been a while. But yeah, I'll for bet sure. I could do it. No, right. dude. Also, I want to say That's this. That's why I tell you I don't want to rent one. I don't want to blow it. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> you'll crash it and not be able to pay for it. Yeah. Here's what I want to say. Hmm. At the end of the podcast, he asked me to plug. And I said, yes, follow me at Sam Talent. Buy my book. Oh, yeah, Did I, I heard, forget to I mention? Heard. Oh, I know. You yeah, heard? Dude. I heard too. <laughs> and guess what? Hey, Carlos and Max Ripple, suck, suck my it. dick. Yeah, glorify. Suck it. my dick. Glorp you go it. on Joe Rogan. You do that fucking dance with the devil. Do you try weed, and maintain honey. your integrity on there and not just blindly agree with some things you might not agree with. I'm not saying that he's a monster. It's just we have different ideas. A lot of comics buy in. They just go full on scale. I think Joe respects me because I push back a little bit. That's what he told me. I don't know. I'll take his word for it. So you know what, Carlos? You know what, Max Ripple? Yeah, I biffed it. But we are different people. And you wouldn't last a world. You wouldn't last a day in my shoes. All right? We are not the same. Okay? Carlos, what would, what would your stories have been? Yeah, hey, man. You ever seen uh, a canyon, dude? He's you, got some stories. You ever surveyed, like, the land, man? <laughs> no, I love Carlos and I love Max. That's why it bummed me out when Carlos called me a pendejo on my own post. Whoa. You know what that means? Uh, jerkwad. Yeah. It's pretty much the equivalent of what everyone's been calling me in, <laughs> in English. English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you know what? I am sorry and I felt really bad about it. And I did not need to feel bad about that because uh, I did a good thing for Sam T Nation, the Lund guys. Yeah, it's not going to matter. And Chubby Behemoth Worldwide. People are going to fall in love with you, look you up. I didn't up. do it on purpose. I know. I don't care. Do you I, think I care? Well, yeah, of course. Max and Carlos care because yeah, they know. want they want a meal ticket. Yeah, I know. They want the podcast to blow up so they can be like, hey, do you need somebody to play the trumpet or <laughs> yeah. survey the area? <laughs> and we're going to be like, no, we don't need anybody. We have each other. So, Carlos, don't reach out to me apologizing like you always do, you nasty Mexican. Oh, yeah. Mitch Jones <laughs> apo- tried to apologize to me because I made it sound like I was mad at him yeah. during Lucha Libre and last. I was like, dude, I was kidding. Right. Everything was great. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. Don't apologize to me, Carlos. Don't apologize to me, Max Ripple. Just I mean, lose, I'll never lose forget. His number. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just yeah. never contact me. Hey, him Carlos, again. next time you want to crash at Skankfest, find someone else's floor to sleep on. I'm <laughs> kidding. I hope you stay with me and everyone's excited to see you, Carlos. Uh, and I love you guys, it but it, like it hurt just, my feelings. Didn't you just do Skankfest? Are they October. are they bumping it up? It it's, was October and yeah, it's October oh, this time again. it'll be oh. Yeah. They're just announcing. Yeah. Really. Mm-hmm. We're trying to sell tickies. Okay. Yeah. 
So that was my one qualm with Rogan, besides everyone using the F slur at me online. <laughs> because I dared to say that an ugly woman was hot. She's not ugly. Dude, I, well, I, look. You saw a picture bro, where... I saw wasn't... a picture where she looked pretty. And then I saw a bunch of other photos, because I've been tagged in them. Yeah, from Edgelord. It's, it's looking me, for the worst me, version st- no, of I'll her. Show, I'll show you. Yeah, and I'll bet I'll still get a little bingo. I bet you won't. You don't nah, get hard for anybody. No tea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got no tea. I'm all tea, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> He's all tea. <laughs> Putty would have low, I think. Uh, no. Nah. Putty likes to have sex. I'm rock hard. I like to have sex in the car. <laughs> I like to get in the hood and say I'm the engine. <laughs> Turn me on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, I do the show. I go and I do shows that night, and then I wake up the next day. I have to go to Dr. Drew. Finally. And while I'm at Dr. Drew. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting. <laughs> while I'm at Dr. Drew, that's when Logan la- or Rogan launches. So I mm. go into Dr. Drew and I have no idea what the internet's clucking about. The episode drops at noon central. I come out of Dr. Drew around 115. My phone is literally hot to the touch. Yeah. Because it hasn't quit vibrating, mm-hmm. which is very cool. I'm very grateful for everyone reaching out and saying, you know, we know where you live. I'll kill uh, you. Yeah. It's good your mom's <laughs> dead, so she wouldn't be disappointed by this. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Take that Bud Light can it, shove it up your wife's it, huge ass. Is this a picture of your wife? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Dr. Dude, Drew. No, dude. Dr. So Drew. So, I'm on the phone speakerphone with my wife after Lun leaves me hanging for 40 minutes. Whoops. Yeah, and then we're driving by a women's prison. I was at Del Taco. Yeah. Dude, I know. Quesadilla, taco. Don't lie to me. Steak or chicken it's is okay. good. It's okay. I'm not mad at you. No, I was hanging out with Janae. Cool. Virtue signal. So anyway, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Gag out. What a, I'm rash deep. Yeah. <laughs> That's a joke for nobody besides like For Josh you. Yeah. Uh, it's all for you, Damien. So anyway, we're driving and I'm on the phone with my wife and Emily's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't listen to a fucking word of it, you know? And then uh, no, you can't see her, so why would you listen yeah, to her? No, she's not. No, she bent over and scrubbing the floor. She was like, "I got pulled over." No, she didn't. I know. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know why I said it I either. Don't either. Who cares? So Lund's <laughs> like, they posted a pretty cool picture of you on the comedy fort, and she's like, "You mean my huge ass?" And Lund's like, "Yeah, yeah, I do." And I'm like, si, "What is senor. going on here, <laughs> Lund? You can't just do this. I've never, I've never said, hey, Creech has got rock and milkies." Yeah, you have. I have not. I've seen your. I've seen your wife's vagina. Why? Because she was passed out on the porch one time. No. Yes. Oh, I. Yeah. In, in a dress, like a you know a she house dress. She doesn't rock them. She yeah. doesn't rock undies. Exactly. So I, so I I went outside and I was like, oh creatures, oh Splayed. Emmy, <laughs> Emmy, <Splayed laughs> it's a job flayed. for you. I called Sarah B and I called Emily and I was like, you guys gotta get creatures. All the single ladies. All yeah. the single. ladies. Emily wasn't single. She just said she was on her Tinder bio. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so I do Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew and I just do Loveline. I tell him about how much I loved Loveline as a kid. His new show is just Loveline. People are calling in. They're saying I can't get hard. I, I pre-jack. I never re-jack. Yeah. Oh, uh, we talked about the cyst that I have on my butt. Because Josh Potter has the same one. And Dr. Drew fucking drained it and then packed it with gauze. And we watched that video. Really horrific stuff. Who's Josh Potter? Josh Potter's a comic. Okay. Um. So yeah, I mean, that was a lot of fun. I leave there. And then I'm just fucking deep. Deep in the internet, dude. I go have lunch with that Amiga again. You. Yeah. So then I have to do Chris Stefano's pod, and then I have my two shows that night, and then two more shows. So I do a total of I did a total of six shows last night. Four in the big room, two in the small room. Yeah. And dude, it's just the internet is wild. True. The human brain's not built for this. It's a lot. Yeah. Do you have, you ever think about that? If you if we were comics. Any time before the internet, how different it would be. It's all like... Yeah, our peers would be funny. One set for 15 years, late night spot means you're like cash and checks for a decade, whatever. Yeah. Like, so different. Right. Way less comics. Uh, Yeah, not everybody gets to like destroy you or make you famous, you know, just depending on how the algorithm works. Yeah. I'm fine. I don't know if you're fine. We have no idea if you're fine. I'll bet I'm good. Yeah, why don't you get on there? Let's see. Oh, no. No, it's good. Is it good? This is good, too. That's better? This is good. What no, about this me? is good. I sound like I'm around the corner. <laughs> oh, good. Where the fudge is made? You sound like you're up your own ass, which is where you are. <laughs> I hate you. You're riding high. <laughs> no, dude. I am riding high. This has been you. I did Rogan. Sniffing your own farts. Bro. Ah. 
I did it without mm. any help. I didn't have an agent. I didn't have a manager. All I had was my own fucking reputation. Dick and balls. My dick and balls. No, and dude. Just you, like my wives, they're hidden behind each other. Another thing is actually you did it. You did it right when a bunch of people took the shortcuts of the internet, making funny videos, blah blah blah, following trends. Yeah, doing the right thing, you making hit, proper business decisions. You hit the road, dog. Yeah, I got good at stand up, which was the dumbest thing to do to be a comedian. It was dumb until it wasn't. No, I mean it's still dumb. Well, I'm saying now that you've reached a certain level, it wasn't dumb. I'm glad it worked out. I'm glad that I'm in the high castle. I'm glad I'm one of the thousand comedians that exist, according to Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. And also, Rogi, thank you very much. I'm super grateful to you. I'm super <laughs> grateful to Tim Dillon, Ben Avery, Shane Gillis, everyone who fucking put that work in for me. Thank you, guys. Mm-hmm. This rules. They walked so you could run. No, no, no. They fucking ran so I could crawl in on my belly and get covered <laughs> and crawl through glass. And get, I'm on the most ratioed clip in the history of Rogan. Yeah, that's pretty cool, though. Yeah, guess what? 1.6 million viewers in less than 24 hours. Wow. You should be sucking my dick right now. I'm gonna. It's only gonna benefit you. <laughs> only me. Yeah. yeah, you're so selfless. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you didn't plug the pod. Uh uh-uh. uh. But. Oh, dude. It was. It's for me. It was really hard. I don't care. You do care. No, I don't. You also look like Rogan's head of security, Bruce. He looks exactly like you, only like capable of violence. Does, can he do this? Probably. I didn't. Dog party. <laughs> dog party. Yeah. These dogs are partying. <laughs> Hell of a party. I so I guess down there. we have to do all the. No, you won't. Dude, why not? The because club rules. You just, Dude, just you know do much, it. You know how much sets pay? Huh. You know how much the spot pays in the big room? The amount that it should. Your rent? More than for it the should. month. No way. One spot. No. Yes, dude. Eight fifty. More than that. No, it doesn't. I There's, swear to doesn't God. make sense. I swear on our Oh, friendship. headlining spot. No. Any spot. Any fifteen minute spot in the big room. No. Yes. He has so much money. Actually, it makes and sense. He doesn't take any money. Give it away. He's so generous. It all trickles up. They gave me an eighty twenty door deal in the fucking small room. Yeah. And their shows just sell out because it's Joe Rogan's club. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say you could go down there regularly, but not as much as if you lived there. You I could, could be there every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even Sundays, doing sets, getting good in front of great comedy crowds, making like eight racks to ten racks just for doing sets at a great room, Yeah, and then go on the road. Right. And I get to hang out with Rogan all the time and watch him take his shirt off. <laughs> he took his shirt off in front of me. Count his abs. Yeah, dude, I did. I looked at his belly and I went, oh my God, Joe, you got a great bod. And he went, he winked at me. You would have to get in shape, though, or else Fuck you'd no. start feeling weird. I'm in a shape. You talked about Chris Pierce. Did you talk about me? No, of course not. Hell yeah. You haven't been I'm any glad kind you got of Pierce positive out benefit. There. <laughs> I'm glad you got You haven't listened Pierce's to the app, slap there. nuts. Well, you didn't. I'm just saying. You didn't talk about me. That's fine. I didn't. I didn't talk about anybody. Except for Chris Pierce. I definitely didn't talk about my wife and what she's up to. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> you'd be dead oh. already. Yeah, I know. You wouldn't have made it to the airport. I wouldn't have made it out of the lobby. <laughs> Two of those guys were definitely... Anyway, so yes, I've done it, and <laughs> everyone can no longer ever be mad at me. I am, nope. I am bulletproof now. Well, yeah, I was gonna say people could be mad at you, but you won't know because they'll be slurping your gorp to try to get some coattail action. No, if any, if anyone's ever like, oh, Sam, you know, he's problematic. I can be like, I'm the man who told Rogan that there was no woke agenda, and also said that. Uh, that hit bitch Dylan was hot. Mm-hmm. And see, and that's a quality. Being able to say that a trans woman is ugly <laughs> is what they're fighting for. All right. Shut up. What, dude? What, dude? I'm just saying, dude. Yeah, you are just You're saying. playing Stratego, and I'm in the fucking war room right now. Stratego's pretty good. Stratego's the best game. It's a good game. Me and Adam Egot are like, you are You might be on thin ice. Me? You might be number two soon. Because of Egot? Egot loves there me. There's two and I love G's in Egot? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, You'd love Egan, cool. dude. You would yeah. love him. Okay. We got to get him in the mix. Okay. He wants to do the pod. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we'll just blast him and do when a bunch of norm stuff. Just have him do it. No, no. When will you be busy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do this week? Not. Oh, did get you, into? Did uh, you did see you, any cool birds? Did another Lighthouse Ranch commercial. Okay, see, now we're talking. Got a spray tan thanks to Emily at Golden <laughs> Hour. Yeah, you got a spray tan. I did. You can't really tell, <laughs> but yesterday I was pretty dark. And I mean, compared to, I mean, I was glow in the dark. I had not seen the sun, uh, but the tan looked good. I did a good job during the shoot. 
Uh, Sammy Enzer and Gabby Gutierrez Reed were extras, so that was cool. We got to pal around. Yeah, but they were extra. Mm hmm. Acting extra. Acting out. Acting a fool. Yeah. Oh, and uh, at the end of the commercial, we were at a you know we were at a pool. This crazy house in Greenwood Village. Like, yeah. call the cops when you see my old fucking gross Subaru coming through, because mm-hmm. everybody was fucking so rich down there. And we were at this pool all day, and I just want to get in it. I'm like dripping sweat. And you have spray tan on. Spray tan. Uh, so it's like you're sweating fucking peppermint mochas. Makeup covering my thought criminal tattoo because it's not Lighthouse Ranch approved. Oh, no. And That's so why I didn't get the job. I'm like, I have a ROM yeah. on my arm. <laughs> you have Hezbollah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but It'd be funny the- to get Hezbollah tattooed on your belly, and your belly button's his mouth. You could be like, <laughs> death to America. <laughs> your belly button's his belly button. Whoa. Yeah. It's, 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 pepper it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, at, at the end, I finally get to jump in and they're like, yeah, if you could like do a cannonball. And I was like, I'll do a head first cannonball. Yeah. So shout out Conrad Sarnasar. I love Conrad, dude. Uh, I don't think he listens anymore, but I stole his move. He was always doing the head first cannonball Conrad quit in, in high school. Why? Because we made fun of something him, a bunch. Yeah. He didn't know I jacked off right next to him yeah. <laughs> in 10th grade. Didn't you like fuck his girlfriend on a couch? No, no. I jacked off next to him while he was sleeping. Yeah. Because his dad had the the Spice porn de scrambler. Oh yeah, he had the the free adult channels. They shouldn't have called it the Spice Tower. They should have called it just Cumin. <laughs> they, yeah, that Thank would have been you. good. All right, very good. Nicely done. You get would have loved that joke. Mm, can't wait for him to replace me. But uh, yeah, shout out Conrad, me, Landon, Conrad, Ricky, and RJ were the big click, and you're doing it, but I'm also doing it, bro. You're doing it. On like a, a scale that is adequate to your skills. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped into a pool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we both had big days. Yeah, you yeah. had 20 million. <laughs> I made a couple grand for getting wet. I didn't uh, get paid for Rogan. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. You're about to. When those ads start coming in next week and you guys are pissed. <laughs> Just remember how much fun we used to have. Just skip them. Also, Becker's out, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the new Becker. Yeah, that would rule. Okay. Okay, cool. I'd rather give fucking Egit. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Egit. I was hanging out with Tracy, uh, Greg Chaley's wife who works at the mothership. Oh. We were outside. They're down there? Yeah, they're or down there. Or just Tracy there. or what? And they're down there for sure. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> Chaley's in Bisbee and Tracy's counting stacks in Austin. Oh. Tracy's stacked in Austin. Woo! So she's the bartender. She rules. She took so much good care of me. I love her. We're outside. She's smoking a cig. Me and Egan are eating a slice of pizza. And I was like, Tracy, me and Adam are new best friends. And he's like, yeah, we are, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We're, we're, we're best friends. And I was like, wait, I heard about what happened to your old best friend. <laughs> yeah. He's a black widow. Yeah. That's his whole thing. He's an angel of mercy. And that really cracked me and Tracy up. And Adam went, oh. oh yeah, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I can't laugh yet. I haven't laughed. Oh, God. Yeah. If you have cancer, you better fucking tell me, bro. I'm not doing it. Don't hide it. It's no, weird. Dude. No, that is the coolest way. Because then every time that we hang out after that, guess what? You're pitying me. You're feeling bad. You're not present. You're a little bitch ass. We cry in the whole No, we'd time. be making the most of it. No, we would still be making the most of it because I'd be leaving being harder if I knew that my time was limited. What do you think I go so hard? I'd what do you think I'm up. doing all this shit? You're dying. Probably. <laughs> Pro- yeah. Yeah, for sure. You have a doctor wife. Figure it out. She doesn't help me. <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, she should. She should. I know. I want to know. What about this? Okay. She doesn't. She doesn't tell you. Mm-hmm. She tells me. And mm-hmm. then I treat you differently she, and you don't know why she breaks half a oh yeah all of a sudden you're on time to pick me up from the airport yeah i start to care yeah yeah <laughs> i'm like oh shit yeah, i quit, gotta quit hanging out with your real friends i gotta get in that will yeah you're not in the will okay you don't have a will you are the will you have a way it's actually tattooed on your back <laughs> you just can't see it prison break style <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh what else we exist in a whole new paradigm brother everything's different now. everything's under the magnifying glass I have tea now. You know what? That'd be cool. <laughs> it's our Rogan, tea. Rogan's going to get us on steroids. <laughs> sick. Yeah, that would be sick. It's so easy. Yeah. Let's get on there. Yeah, cheat code. Yeah, yeah. Up, up, down, down. I've been in the... I mean, Ben Shapiro's talking about it. USA Today, Newsweek. Everyone's talking about this Rogan clip about the Bud Light thing. Mm-hmm. Obviously, 
It'll be done in six hours. None of this matters. People move on to the next thing. Yeah, I there'll be another that. mass shooting. And- For sure. Yeah, yeah. And Rogan will be like, well, shooter was trans or whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know? So anyway, like, I don't know how people have existed underneath the magnifying glass mm. for so like i want to think of shane gillis and mm-hmm. when he was like number one trending on twitter for four days for getting kicked off snl right all those Dude. eyes and keyboards and <coughs> yeah respect to shane crazy and respect to his his lund matt mm-hmm. for riding with his boy mm-hmm. but dude that shit is like i don't know how people put up with this stuff i don't think that i really want to be famous oh yeah and well, i've had yeah. barely a taste of anything yeah, I think we've talked about how it is. Yeah, it, people act like it's uh, just cash and checks and getting slurped. Right. But yeah, no, you get a lot of weird attention, hatred, death mm-hmm. threats, whatever. You know, people can be super mean. And, they and I'm think not that even it's, famous. Right. And they think that it's part of it. Like you signed up for that. And it's like, no, you really just want to like make decent money and make people laugh. Or if you're an actor, you were diddled as a kid and I need attention. That's right. No, I'm quit not rocking, an actor. Quit rocking the boat. Uh oh. God, this is what Jack was talking about with F1 tornadoes. We got to get in the basement. <laughs> yeah, flash lights coming. When did we start? I got to ring out my shirt. We got ten more oh, minutes to go. Oh, I can see go. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Cool. This is a free app, right? I don't know. You usually make the call. I'll Cop- say this. Copy town. I'll say this. Cedar Rapids sold out. Lincoln. Yeah, you don't have to plug anything. I don't have anymore. to plug right now. I mean, I'm still going to plug. I think there's like. 30 tickets left for Philadelphia. There's some tickets left for Houston. Like, go to those shows. Get those tickets. I'm at Secret Group 420 in Houston. Philadelphia Helium. I got Dad Meat and Matt McCusker opening for me. Uh, 21. April 21. I'm in Lafayette down there in the bayou. Lane Lillian's wedding Long is the Long. next day. So, Lane's going to be there. Noah Reynolds. Maria Moreno. Uh, her partner. <laughs> Jake uh, Jake Moreno. Yeah, Jake Moreno. I told, I told Rupp he should have changed his name to Jake Moreno. He was like, cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he yeah. T- he wrote me. It, it was in a chat. So. Yeah, you're in a group chat but, with them? No, just him. I reached out to him. I DM'd him. That's cool. I didn't say group chat. I said chat. It was online, so okay. it was, I didn't hear him go. You're so, <laughs> you're so online. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're severely online. No. Mm-hmm. You know who's online? I touch Pat. grass, dude. Pat. Oh yeah. And Joe Hatfield have He's been warped. giving me updates on what's going on out there, and Jansicock and Brad. Yeah. People are giving me updates on what's going on in the fucking chats, you know, like in the comment section. Yeah. And then I think some of them are in there being like, no, you're the one who is gay, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> from right. like alts Cloud. and stuff. Send you screenshots. Yeah, yeah. Oh, blasting you in the via their alt. Dude, Hassan Piker. Who's that? He's a leftist uh, Twitch streamer that Pat's obsessed with, you know? Yeah. Because he's like, you know, a leftist guy who like says retard, you know? So <laughs> <Yeah>. brave. Uh <laughs> Yeah, he's he fucking discussed me and Rogan on his live stream to like sixty thousand people. It's bizarre. This whole thing's bizarre. It's crazy to have a son Piker who's the furthest left you can be without being like you know smashing Starbucks windows and signing your rent checks and blood to Ben Shapiro, who's a gay man <laughs> <laughs> whose gay sisters virgin. got him. Yeah, but they were all those pictures were altered. I think they did the job. I'm just, I'm saying they I did what had to be done. I don't think they're as big as they were in that one picture that I jacked off to. Sure, her hoochies are moochied. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, saw another nipple this week. Somebody else dumped them. No, on stage I saw a nipple. Why? Lady in the front row bent over at the mothership in the big room in the fat man. I was the fat man in the little boy. LOL. Yeah, but I was the fat man in the fat man up on stage. <laughs> you, you just stop talking. <laughs> nothing. Everybody's like, "What?" And you're like, yeah. I, "I don't know." <laughs> yeah, like, what? Nothing. <laughs> who? 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 Where are we? It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> like, we're okay. What? Huh? Can uh, wait? You said she le- like leaned over and she was she bent over in something? like a blouse, like yeah. a unbuttoned blouse, and from my angle, I could see her nip. Cool. Yeah, it was really cool. You should have pointed it out. No, no one else benefited from it. She might have dumped him. No, no. And if I would have said something, I couldn't have stared for 14 minutes. Why? Oh, it was just out. Yeah, it was free Peeking float. out of the top. It was from the angle I was down Oh, you her. were above. I was committing an assault. No. Yeah, I'm peeking. That's okay, I think. I didn't want to make her feel self-conscious, so I didn't say anything. It wasn't because I was getting off on it or anything. <laughs> mm, okay, it was probably both. No, no. I just didn't want to make her feel weird. So I just stared. <laughs> I just took little... 
darts down, you know? <laughs> Kept doing crowd work with her boyfriend. Like, oh, oh, yeah, you just did that. What? That's your move. Hmm. You did crowd work with somebody's no. boyfriend or husband because they had him. It's not true. You said it this on the pod. This is all a rumor. No. Yes. That was you. It's uh, rumored to be me. Okay. Yeah. Pretty cool move. Thank you. So I moved to Austin. Are you going to come with me? No. Why? Oh, God. I left Denver because it's so crazy, let alone Austin. Come down to Austin with me, dog. No, it's nuts. Yeah, we can all live together. Everybody's blackout on a scooter. Don't do your bits on the pod. (laughs) You guys ever notice those scooters? It's like, no helmets, huh? Why would you? You only had 12 Jack and Cokes. Why would you be safe? So tonight we have a big show. Yeah, sold out comedy works. They're not going to like him up front. They're going to hate him. They need to get warmed before he does whatever he does. Maybe I'll come out first and be like, hey, everyone, these are my friends. British style. Please don't eat them alive. No, let's let him dangle. I want to let him fuck himself. He'll probably crush because downtown comedy works and like your crowd are comedy fans. Right. And they probably know know if they listen to the pod and they hate him. They don't like, well, no, but also that's not fair because... He's it's not fair. as funny on, or he's not as funny on Chubby Behemoth. He's never been funny on, on Chubby Behemoth. He just overthinks that he's too nervous. He bombs. So on stage, he's comfy. He's been doing a lot of sets. <laughs> Don't talk about my cousin. <laughs> Speaking of sets, let's look up Ben Shapiro's sister once mm-hmm. we're done here and believe the lie. Just but, lie to me, internet. Make him as big as fucking Wembley. Let's show young Jack what a lady looks like. No, no, yeah, he's not ready. Let's turn Jack onto those <laughs> massive Remember these? Moombos. Yeah. Remember a couple years ago when you were eating lunch off these bad boys? So we got Noah, we got Pat, a little special guest, friend of the pod, Josh Blue, and then you. So mm-hmm. how afraid are you of being completely buried by Josh? I'm not that afraid because he's doing 10. If right. he were doing 20 or more, it would, I would be like, I have to go up before him. Yeah. Well, but, I wouldn't allow that either anyways. Mm, I'm in charge. You want me to I'm eat the puppeteer. it? You want me to struggle? I don't want you to struggle, beat but myself you're featuring. On the three-hour ride home. Oh, you're not going to beat yourself up. They're going to love you. I'm not going to care. They're all love I'm gonna, guys. I'm going to do well. Yeah. Josh is going to go like, Have you ever been on airplane? Have you been on airplane with me, guys? <laughs> You ever been on an airplane, Josh? <laughs> I'm flying all the time, man. I'm always in the sky. Josh so, doing, buddy. Yeah. Uh, oh, Elaine. We're done. <laughs> We're broken it's up. A little Romano. Jerry. <laughs> There's a little Romano in there. Yeah. Romano cheese. What are we going to eat? So something good. I'm so hungry. Well, you know what? We would have had a lot more time to eat if this didn't take forever. Shut up. And you would have picked me up on time. Well, I didn't. Yeah, and I'm sorry. And I've wow, already I raked that myself word. over the coals. Yeah, I'm going to rape you over the coals. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, we can't have fun? Yeah, why don't you have some water, you dehydrated bitch? I need some. Uh, if this is the free one, then we got to plug the Patreon. Plug the Patreon. Patreon. Tell them where to go. Patreon.com slash Chubby Behemoth. Only $5 a month will get you access to our patreon episodes there's a bunch of them some of the best ones are behind the paywall not on yeah. purpose it's just the way it goes and look there's no better way to troll me if you're a new rogan listener and you want to call me the f-slur that is completely unmoderated in there mm-hmm. you can call me whatever you want you can post whoever's address you want i mean think of those two guys who get in there and say that we're bad and they're going to kill themselves look Say whatever you want. Be a part of the giving community. us money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Freedom of speech. Yeah, yeah. Give us well, some cash. Well, it's not cash. free. It's five bucks for freedom of speech. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, five bucks or 20. 20 bucks gets you mail. Well, Lund loves sending those out. Yeah, I can't wait for a thousand people to join the mail. Oh, that tier. would suck. Yeah, if we made 20 grand a month, so you had to make mail. It would. Yeah, that'd be I, a would, bummer. I would make mud. Yeah, he'd make I would mud send mail bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I would reverse. Quit rocking this thing, dude. Sorry. You've I been forgot. rocking it nonstop. Oh, no. You rocked it, too. I have barely rocked. We need to get this thing stabilized now. Like you the Bigfoot need, footage. You need to be on mood stabilizers. <laughs> Why? Because you're crazy. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Who cares? You're the Joker. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> you're Lady Goo Goo. <laughs> Uh, what else though? SamTalent.com. Yeah, yeah. Nathan Lund doesn't have a website. Oh, wait, I do. But you do? Yeah, go there. If you want to help Donald Trump with his legal fees, go to NathanLund.com. Uh, eventually it'll be my site. No, it won't. <laughs> no. 
if I do some things that uh, I don't like want to do. Keep redirecting. Then, what? Uh, like bow uh, before Trump? No, I was making it sound like the, the guy that pulled that prank was making me, he was extorting send, me. Once you send one tasteful nude. Oh, God. It won't, none of, no nude of me could be tasteful. You know, it'd be a fun nude to it's send. It's an oxymoron him. for me. Tasteful nude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Distasteful. It'd be cool He's to send a hurt picture. Your stomach. It'd be cool to send a picture of me dressed up like a cowboy, like my full Sunday best, and you completely nude, and me just holding your dick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'd be nuts. Like your yeah, hard dick. Yes. And me holding it, and you don't look happy in the picture. It's not going to be hard if you're holding Let, it. Let's practice. No. <laughs> let's, no, just like here. See, look, I'm a cowboy, okay. and this is how you would look. <laughs> you'd be smiling I thought I'd be mad yeah or sad yeah you wouldn't be happy okay no but it would just be like fucking choked up on your little bat I'm sad to at the point where it's like it purple is. at the top <laughs> that'd be a good picture to send this extortionist okay, okay. what yeah, do we have to lose he, that's what he wants <laughs> yeah that would according show him. to you <laughs> yeah I definitely didn't set that up right yeah you have you wish that it weren't what he wants but yes. it is so yeah. we might as well Get my website back. Yeah, through any means necessary. Just like the Black Panthers, who I support. And the Zapatistas, who I support. And Zappos, which is sponsoring this episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go to Zappos.com. Look get, at, get some big old shoes for your giant feet. Watch how I keep looking into the camera. Watch the camera. Ready? And I keep going like this. <laughs> <laughs> Being sucks. surprised Yeah, because I it. think it's down here, but it's up there. Oh, yeah, so no, it's up there. Hey. This was a good app. This was a good app. You're welcome, everybody. Thank you for supporting us. To all the day ones who've been there since the beginning, we won't forget when we do our mass assassination campaign. Whoa. Yeah. I didn't know about that. Excuse me. Mass adoption campaign. <laughs> We're going to get all the cats and dogs. Cats in the cradle Oklahoma. in the silver spoon. Fat little boy. Man, little boy, mother ship. It's a great club. Detura and bees and big cigars. I didn't get to sing Detura and bees. Detura and bees. That would have been for Detura and bees. And and Bobby. <laughs> Do not run. They will not heed your scream. <laughs> <laughs> was that Skidamarink? Oh, that was a couple of different nights. We were just out the there house. singing to the Detura flowers because they bloom at night. That's right. Yep. Speaking of blooming at night. <laughs> yeah, we have to go flourish. Yeah, come see me. In Lincoln this Sunday, the 16th. Come Zubar resurrected. Zubar's back, unlike the former host of Zubar. Rest in power. Still yeah, still dead. Well, he's going to be stuffed on stage in a rocking chair. Brad? That's what I heard. I would love that. Brad Garrett? <laughs> <laughs> he said, bury me in Lincoln. Bury me with my leather bracelets on. Uh, April 19th, Philadelphia Helium. 20th of April, Houston Secret Group. 21st, Lafayette, Louisiana, Club 337. Come and see me in Indianapolis the 28th. We love you guys. Goodbye. Bye.